so good evening students so today we shall discuss on domination number of standard class of graphs so in our last video lecture we have studied about domination number uh, dominating set and uh, minimal dominating sets okay so here uh, we were, we are going to calculate domination number of some standard class of graphs okay such as path graph path graph wheel graph cycle graph complete graph star graph peterson graph and complete bipartite graph so let us start with the path graph okay so here path graph p and n denotes a number of vertices in that graph so here we have taken n greater than or equal to 2 here okay so smallest path is p2 here for n equal to 2 uh, you see here only one vertex is required to cover with the remaining vertices therefore domination number of p2 is 1 so next for n equal to 3 uh, we need the central vertex okay therefore domination number of p3 is 1 here for n equal to 4 these two vertices are enough to cover the remaining vertices therefore domination number of p4 is 2 here for n equal to 5 see here these two vertices are enough to cover the remaining vertices so therefore domination number of p5 is 2 here so similarly for p6 these two are the uh, minimal dominating set therefore domination number of p6 is 2 here so for p7 uh, we need three vertices for p8 again three vertices are enough to cover the remaining vertices so for p9 again we need three vertices for p10 so for p10 uh, we need four vertices to cover the remaining vertices of p10 therefore domination number of p10 is 4 here now look at this table for n equal to 2 domination number is 1 for n equal to 3 it is 1 4 5 6 it is 2 7 8 9 it is 3 so similarly for 10 11 and 12 it, it, it should be 4 okay so you can see here for every three vertices domination number is uh, changing by 1 here okay here it is 1 2 3 so on and so on so in gen in general for n equal to k domination number is ceiling function k by 3 okay so that is domination number of path graph p n n greater than equal to 2 is ceiling function n by 3 so ceiling function means uh, instead of dividing uh, odd and even vertices simply we write ceiling function here. for example ceiling function 2.1 is equal to 3 means it should be greatest integer okay so similarly there is one more function called floor function if i if I select floor function 2.9 means its value should be uh, low, uh, lowest integer that should be 2 so like this so in general domination number of path graph is ceiling function n by 3 so next consider cycle graph so for for cycle graph uh, smallest cycle is 3 here therefore we have to take uh, c n n greater than equal to 3 here uh, we know that every cycle is a closed path Okay. therefore domination number of cycle graph is equal to domination number of path graph that is domination number of cn is again ceiling function n by 3 here so next one complete graph kn uh, we know that uh, for any complete graph kn its minimum degree and maximum degree should be should be n minus 1 okay and one more thing is that every vertex is a minimal dominating set here okay because degree of every vertex is n minus 1 and every vertex is adjacent to all other vertices therefore domination number of k is 1 so next one is wheel graph uh, by definition of wheel graph we can write like this wn is equal to cn minus 1 plus k1 so and the uh, maximum degree of wn is again here n minus 1 therefore domination number of wheel graph is 1 here so similarly in star graph maximum degree is n minus 1 therefore only one vertex is required to cover the remaining vertices therefore domination number of star graph is 1 here so next for peterson graph uh, peterson graph is a, it's a cubic uh, three a cubic graph with 10 vertices and 15 edges and you can see here uh, only three vertices are enough to cover the remaining vertices that is v3 v6 and v10 these three vertices are enough to cover the remaining vertices okay therefore d is a minimal dominating set uh, and therefore cardinality of uh, d is 3 therefore domination number of peterson graph is 3 here so next final one is complete bipartite graph 
So by definition of complete bipartite graph, vertex set can be partitioned into two sets. That is V1 and V2. Their union is vertex set of complete bipartite graph and their intersection is empty. Means a vertex set is partitioned into two disjoint sets where V1 and V2 are independent sets. And one more thing is that every vertex of V1 is adjusted to all other, all other vertices of V2. Okay? And no two vertices in the same sets are adjusted. Okay? So in this case, uh, we need only two vertices. Means you take, you choose any one vertex from this set and one vertex from this set. Okay. So in this case, the minimal dominating set is V i and U j, where V i V i belongs to this set V one and uh, U j belongs to V two. Therefore, kernel of D is two here, and domination number of complete bipartite graph is two.